Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. Today I'm super excited because you guys know I love first LEGO League robots. I have the Educator Plus Plus robot to show you. It's really cool and simple to make. Stay with me to see it. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. Okay, so this robot right here, it's called the Educator Plus Plus. It's a first LEGO League robot. So you know me, I'm all over first LEGO League robots. I'm always interested to see what's out there, what's available, especially for teams that are just starting off or teams that are looking to maybe simplify the robot. I really like this guy and it checks off a lot of boxes. So let's go ahead and show it to you. Okay, everybody, so there it is, the Educator Plus Plus First Lego League Robot. Um, I've left you the instructions in the description, the link to it, super easy to build. Um, for those of you that have been watching my channel for a while, know that I do First Lego League uh, videos to show you how missions are done with my Educator Robot. So this is just a step up as far as features on this robot to make it really cool for, you know, beginning teams. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the cool features that it has. So a very cool feature about this robot is the cage that you build around it. So if I can just turn this around. So here is what I like about having some, some type of um, protection over here on the sides. So when you're doing a first LEGO League mission and you're returning back to base, it's really tough sometimes to not have this protection here because if you run into the side wall with these tires, it can make your robot do all kinds of crazy things. But let me go ahead and show you what can happen if you have some type of side protection over here right in front of your tires. So you can see in this video that this robot um, that's similar to the Educator Plus Plus robot has the side protection. So that way when you're coming back to base and you're not perfectly lined up, it can be a lot more forgiving and still get you back into base or home as opposed to just running into the board and having your robot flip over or just not make it back to base. The next thing I love about this robot is it has the dual color sensors. And you might ask, Mr. Hino, why the need for two? Um, especially when the lines or the black lines on the board are not this wide. Um, I've noticed before, um, if the robot does line following on a mission, sometimes if you only have one sensor, it might put your robot off to the side in order to do a mission, which means if you're following a line with this sensor, your attachment might not have enough room to do what it's supposed to do. So what you can do is have this sensor follow the line and just give yourself the added um, space or room to be able to complete that mission. And the judges love it when you have sensors, especially color sensors. Another thing that I love about this robot is its simplicity. It just doesn't have a whole lot as far as you know, difficulty or confusion. It's just a simple robot. And if you're wondering about the first Lego League part, there is a medium motor down here that you're able to add on attachments. Let me go ahead and show you that. Another feature that I love about the Educator Plus Plus robot is this 15 hole beam in the back. So if you see, it can help you line up your robot in base it can help you back up into a board if you want to straighten out your robot. So it's really neat to have that leveling off in the back. So it just basically allows your robot to be a lot straighter than it would be if it didn't have that. Okay, let's go ahead and talk attachments because that's what truly makes a robot a first Lego League robot. It has a medium motor right here. And if you check the description, for the instructions on how to build the robot, if you go to the very bottom, it shows you how to actually build the attachments too. So this would be an attachment that, again, just pops onto the front here. 
and it allows you to pick up or trap things with. And when you come back to base, we're always looking to see how fast things can be to pull off and on. Look how fast that was. And what's really cool about it is these connectors were placed in a way so that when you pull this off, it never pulls the pins out when you pull it out. It'll always still be there. So it's a really quick attachment for those of you that do first Lego League and want to minimize wasted time. That's how fast you can put this attachment on. And when you don't want it, you just pull it off. That's very cool. And another feature this robot has, especially for this year's replay first Lego League robot game, if you're going to do the pull-up bar mission, this robot's pretty light. I mean, there's not a whole lot to weigh this robot down. So if you're going to do that mission to try to get it hanging on that bar, this robot is pretty light. And check this out. The Educator++ Plus Plus robot fits inside of an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. So you're going to get those 25 bonus points for the small inspection. Guaranteed. Okay, enough about this robot. You want to see it in action, right? So let's go ahead and see it do some FLL type missions. Okay guys, so there you have it, the Educator++ Plus Plus Robot. Super cool robot. So let's go ahead and review the boxes that this robot checks off for your FLL team. So number one, double color sensors. For those of you that want a line follow, for those of you that just want to be able to show judges, hey, we can utilize our sensors. And so really neat. I love this on and off real easy attachment there in the front you know used to pick up things or drop things off i love the cage around the robot so you're not getting hung up against the board as you come either to and from a mission i really like the back uh six or 15 hole beam here so you can line your robot up in base or you know you can use it to straighten out when you're doing a mission against the board and so it's also super light and easy to build for those of you that are looking to just simplify your robot for those of you that might just be starting off first Lego League and just want a really cool robot to start off with so the possibilities are endless for this robot great job on this design so again I left you the link in the description for this robot they even show you how to utilize your attachments here but I really like the fact that you can put this on and off because a lot of teams do waste a lot of time in base just putting on and taking off their attachments. So this solves a lot of problems for teams. So as you venture into your first Lego League season, this is definitely a robot to check out. Okay, guys, so there you have it. The Educator++ Plus Plus First Lego League Robot. Hope you enjoyed it.
Okay, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mission Zag Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys, take care.